The hustling mentality towards business must be elevated. We need to be building empires, strengthening our business ventures to increase economic wealth. On today's edition of Jamaica Magazine, we talk business. The Development Bank of Jamaica is willing to help entrepreneurs. They're facilitating loans, offering grants, and hosting capacity building seminars. And then, thinking of exporting your product to the global market? The National Export Strategy 2 program has been activated. Find out how government is taking Jamaican items to the world. Hello, I'm Theodore Henry. The magazine unfolds now. Fever, rash, joint pain and red eyes. All common signs of the Zika virus or ZikV. Symptoms are usually mild, lasting anywhere from a few days to a week. Jamaica has no Zika cases, but if it gets hair, it would only be transmitted by the Aedes aegypti mosquito. Don't give Zika a chance. Prevent the breeding of these pesky mosquitoes. The use of oil, cooking oil, a little tip of cooking oil poured on the surface of the water suffocates the larvae and prevents them hatching out, so persons can do that. The Development Bank of Jamaica, the DBJ, is providing financing for startups. Established businesses are not exempted as there are voucher grants and other assistance programs for such entities. Next, an in-depth analysis of the suite of developmental programs afforded to the business sector. Thanks for joining us for another edition of Issues and Answers. I'm Ian Boyne. Today we talk about the small business sector, the financing and other services which are available to the small business sector. We have with us uh, Mrs. Claudine Tracy, who is General Manager of Strategic Services at the Development Bank of Jamaica. The DBJ is doing a lot to facilitate um, micro and small businesses. And one of the entrepreneurs who has benefited from the services of the DBJ is here with us, Mr. Marlon Grant. He is the CEO of Nationwide Waste Services. We thank you so much for your company. Ladies and gentlemen, good to have you on the set of issues and answers. Let's start, start Claudine, by talking about the, the services that the DBJ offers to the small and the micro sector. How do you fac facilitate that sector? Okay, majority of persons will know DBJ in terms of lending or unlending through banks. Mm -hmm. So that's our primary business line. We offer small loans, medium-sized loans at concessionary rates to businesses in Jamaica. And uh, but what persons may not know is that we also have a grant financing window, and um, which provides opportunities for for entrepreneurs to access capacity development products and services that will help them to actually access the credit that's out there right now. Okay. So that is, you would help them, for example, to prepare a business plan. You would help them to um, prepare documents that can help them to get funded. Right. There, there was a voucher program that the Minister of Finance had announced mm -hmm. some time ago. Tell us about that, how that works. Sure. One of the primary problems that the business face and the banks face is that when a business goes to the bank and they want a loan, they just don't qualify, they don't meet the minimum requirements and standards for the bank. Majority of businesses don't have a good business plan or a good business model. Um, some businesses don't have a feasible marketing plan. Some of them don't have financial statements. These are critical documents that the bank needs to mm. be assured that they're taking a good risk on this business. Mm -hmm. And so the voucher program was created to help SMEs who want a loan and would qualify for a loan in every other way, excepting being deficient in one or two of those documents. So how the voucher works is that you'd go and instead of the bank saying, boy, we can't give you this mm -hmm. loan because they don't qualify, yes. they said, well, I can give you this voucher. It's an electronic voucher that they would give to the person, uh -huh. which would allow them to access a variety of services. I said some of them business plan, financial statements, and what we do, DBJ accredited a list of what we call business development organizations, consultants, 
where the SME now can go and they can choose from a list of 15 and go to that place, access the service. So in the case of a business plan, go to the consultant, access the service, and DBJ pays for 70% of that cost of the service. Oh, the DBJ pays for that? Right. So one goes to the professional um, uh, persons and then the DBJ underwrites Absolutely. The cost of um, that. And that's uh, a straight out grant. A straight out yes. Um, grant. Yes. Uh, Marlon, you have benefited from, 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 from the DBG. You went on the voucher uh, system and then subsequently uh, got a loan. T tell us about that. How, how important has the help of the DBG been? It's been outstanding. I learned about the voucher through Scotia Bank. And after I learned about the voucher, I went to JEA, Jamaica Exporters Association, they're one of the approved BDOs. Okay. They assisted me with a comprehensive business plan and also preparing my financial statements, after which I was able to finish my application process through Scotia Bank al along with the BD DBJ, mm -hmm. and I was approved mm -hmm. and uh, for the amount of $5.75 million. Okay. This will allow me to hire new employees, purchase new equipment, and the badly needed working capital, which small business cannot have access to on a normal basis. So I have greatly benefited from this program. So this is an important program. And you are not a novice. I mean, you, you, you are trained at the master's <laughs> level in terms yes. of business. You have worked with big companies. Yes. Yet you found this voucher uh, program to be of assistance. Very much so, because most of the businesses at us in their embryonic stages Stage they lack the capital yeah. and they do not know how to access it. And in other words, they're not credit, credit worthy. worthy. Mm -hmm. So this program is, it, it's humongous. Yes. It's humongous. Yes. It, helps, it helps you to put your foot in the door. So at least the banks could look at your application and say, wow, this company is qualified. Good. So you need money for your business. You need to, to, to stay tuned uh, to us because we're going to tell you exactly how you can make your application, how you can become an entrepreneur, or if you're already an entrepreneur, how you can um, improve and expand. We take a break. I am Philip Paulwell, the Minister of Science, Technology, Energy and Mining. I watch every time issues and answers and so should you. Nutritious food. Succulent dishes. Superior workmanship. And excellent service. Jamaica is on the go. Let's grow what we eat and eat what we grow. Let's harness the indomitable spirit of our most valued resource, our people. Let's support our local businesses. After all, buying Jamaican means building Jamaica. Perhaps you have a small business idea or you're already involved in business and need some help. Well, this is the right program for you. We, we have with us the General Manager of Strategic Services at the Development Bank of Jamaica, Claudine Tracy, and she has information to give you on that. We also have with us Mr. Marlon Grant, who is an entrepreneur who has benefited from the services of the DBJ. So Claudine, uh, somebody who wants to, have, to get help with the business plan, what's the process? person would come to, to DBJ or go to one of the approved financial institutions. How does a person start? They start by going to the approved financial they institution. Go the institution. They go to the okay. institution. And in talking with the business banker and going through what are the requirements for the loan, then that is when the business banker may offer a voucher oh, or the, the voucher. SME themselves can say, hey, I've heard about the voucher. Wouldn't it be applicable for my application now? Okay, yeah. And is it the, the financial institution that um, pushes through the process or does the person have to go to the DBJ? No, they don't have to come to the DBJ at all. It's oh. very, very simple. Okay. The business bank would go on their system, um, they will fill out some, some fields, and then the person will get an email saying you have received a voucher. Okay. And then once they, they, they get that, e that email and the voucher number, they can go to, to whichever um, BDO to actually get the, the service. There is another uh, system, a grant system, to uh, chip in soon, the Ignite program. Tell Ignite. us about that. 
Okay, um, journeying with persons like Marlon and other businesses has really taught DBJ a lot of lessons in terms of how we can support entrepreneurs. And one of the gaps that we saw in the market was that startups, startups just did not have a lot of opportunities for financing. Yeah. And the truth is startups aren't necessarily the best bet for a loan or even equity investment. Many startups need a kickstart yes. through grant financing. True. And that's what a Ignite grant is. is. You're not paying back for you're it. You're not paying back for it. And not, not financially. Financially, yes. Um, but there, there is payback in, 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 in other ways. And they, they yes. need that, that kickstart. And mm -hmm. so the Ignite program is to help to fund innovative businesses. So if you're a startup, meaning you're operating for less than 24 months, and you have a truly innovative idea, a new product that has never been um, launched before, a new way of doing an existing business. So it must be innovative. It has to be innovative because mm -hmm. that, that's, where, that's where we believe um, that Jamaica can get Very its cool. competitive advantage and actually get the kind of economic growth that we desire. Mm -hmm. And so we, we're definitely targeting innovation um, companies. And how, how the Ignite program will work is that we first qualify, again, another acronym, what we call business service intermediaries, which is really an organized community group that, um, that caters to small businesses, so such as an incubator or an accelerator or um, an umbrella association. And the reason why we want to partner first with a BSI is that we want to ensure that the entrepreneur really has a community of supporters so that once they, the entrepreneur gets the grant, they have a support system to actually help the business to grow and to sus be sustainable. So we actually did a call for proposals and invited these BSIs to, to apply to be the intermediaries through which we can channel the grants. Um, that was done. We got overwhelming application and we've actually just selected three BSIs that we'll be working with for this year. And now that the BSIs are on board, I'm not about to announce it yet, mm -hmm. um, then the entrepreneurs who are part of those BSIs can then submit their proposals for consideration for funding. So this is a program that is to be launched soon. It is to be launched soon. So we're breaking news on breaking issues and news. answers here. Breaking news. <laughs> People must note that. Mm -hmm. You also have information about a website that exists mm -hmm. that actually lists um, a whole slew of of, of organizations from which small business people can get uh, services and access grants and loans. One of the things that, we've, that I have found in discussing these issues with small businesses is that they just don't Lack know where to go yes. to get information. Right. Lack of information is a true, true, true. challenge for, for small businesses. And so our board of directors at DBJ challenged us to create a, what we call a finance directory or financing directory, oh. where, we've, where right now we've, we're listing about 80-something opportunities, financing opportunities for SME. Financing opportunities. So there's credit opportunities, there's grant opportunities, there's oh. um, equity opportunities, Good. where an SME can go on to this directory and, um, and, and do a search. And, and the host of opportunities will come up and they can choose now which opportunities best meet the need of their business. And what is that website? It is findmsmefinancing.com.jm. F-I-N-D-M-S-M-E-Financing.com.jm. A person just go, goes on to that mm -hmm. and all of these um, opportunities um, come Are up. That's, at their fingertips. Information yes. is really uh, crucial. Mm -hmm. how, how important would you say, Marlon, that how important is it that small business people really plug into these opportunities that exist, you know, what the state is, is offering? It's very crucial because, as you know, small business is the backbones of more societies. And when small business, businesses are employing people, there's a trickle-down effect. My business, I have six full-time employees. And... The, the, the duties and responsibilities that they have for their families is tremendous. They depend on the income that I provide them with mm -hmm. to support their families. Mm -hmm. And so if we don't have access to, to the funding such as B, um, the Development Bank is offering, mm -hmm. it, we're, we can't even get, get started. Mm -hmm. So it's very crucial that and we... you are exporting. Yes. You, you might say yes. six people think it's, it's not company and it's not having impact. You are exporting to places like Italy. Talk it, about that. Yes. Uh, Two of my main um, customers here in Jamaica is Corpac Jamaica mm -hmm. and AMG, 
where I purchase recycled cardboard from them mm -hmm. and I export to places like Genoa, Italy, Tarragona, Spain, what? and South America. Sick. So every month I export five to 10 containers of recycled cardboard. So. So it, and it's growing. Mm -hmm. The potential in this business is humongous. Yes. And there's infinite demand for my product. Okay. So as soon as I access this loan, I'm going to be hiring lots more people. So, so the DBJ more, loan yes. will facilitate your expanding employment. Ex exactly. Purchase new equipment, hire more people. Mm -hmm. So if more businesses such as mine can gain access to the funding that DBJ offers, mm -hmm. it's going to have a humongous effect in yeah. our society. Yeah. Good. And so we need to move away from the stereotype, um, Claudine, that DBJ is only dealing with, with the big man, with the big companies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. DBJ, in fact, and, and I think last year you with a significant amount of money yes. that DBJ had disbursed. Yes, we disbursed five point four, sorry, four point five billion dollars to micro, small, medium-sized entrepreneurs, not the big businesses, the MSMEs. Four point five billion dollars. To the micro and the small business. Mm -hmm. Uh, sector. DBJ uh, played a very important role in the economy in terms of expanding small business, expanding um, employment, expanding opportunities for uh, ordinary people. Claudine Tracy, General Manager of Strategic Services at the Development Bank of Jamaica and Marlon Grant, who is the CEO of Nationwide Way Services have been our guests on Issues and Answers. Next week, I'll be back. Until then, Ian Bourne wishing you a pleasant day. Do you want to know more about the Jamaica Logistics Sub-Initiative? What of the proposed transshipment port at Goat Islands? Or the jobs to be provided when the hub is fully implemented? Then sign up for the Logistics 101 training course. This free course is available when groups or organizations make a request. The Ministry of Industry, Investment and Commerce website, the Logistics Hub Task Force, and you can register. As long as you have a cohort, we'll take it to you. Increase your awareness about logistics. Call 968-7116. Job creation and economic growth is a strategic priority of the government. One sure way to increase employment is through export. The National Export Strategy was implemented to increase the exports of Jamaican products. Coming up, help for exporters and the nation's young entrepreneurs. In order that Jamaica's participation in global trade can significantly improve the lives of the Jamaican people, it is important for us to consistently strengthen our export capacity through a major and deliberate strategy. And that is where the National Export Strategy comes into play. Phase 2 was launched in August to broaden and improve the environment for business and trade. Achieving the growth we need will require that we activate dormant exporters, expand our production base, and encourage new entrepreneurs in the export sector. The end goal? Economic growth and job creation. I believe we all agree that an increase in exports presents the most viable option for rapid GDP growth and increased investor confidence in our country. And this confidence is growing. Just recently, the Agriculture Ministry, farmers, exporters, and a contingent from the United States met to finalize trade exports. And the National Export Strategy too will take that further as it focuses on key sectors such as manufacturing, mining, film, and animation, agro-processing and information technology-enabled services. We have no choice but to fully integrate our economy into global value chains for the production and delivery of goods and services around the world. This will make the Jamaican economy more open for investments and better ready for increased exports. Indeed, one of the main advantages of NES 2 is a deliberate attempt to clearly identify the owners and stakeholders of each export initiative 
and the development of a system to ensure ongoing communication to facilitate monitoring and evaluation of its implementation. NEST 2 will run from 2015 to 2019, continuing the platform that was set from Phase 1 between 2009 and 2013. For the next four years, NEST 2 will continue to increase the country's export capacity to improve our trade performance. The government is committed to creating the enabling environment to support your success, because your success is Jamaica's success. We are on a course. We have to continue on this course in the interest of Jamaica's economy, and more so to the benefit of our people. Tied to the growth agenda is employment. And the Kingston and St. Andrew Corporation, KSAC, is facilitating that through its Enterprise Assistance Program. In February 2015, the corporation launched its $2 million program for assisting young people to start or develop their own micro, small and medium-sized enterprises, which will facilitate employment. The aim is to create sustainable economic activities that will benefit the residents of the municipality. The beneficiaries are between the ages of 18 and 29. We decided to support this group as we recognize that they face significant challenges when it comes to finding employment. The financial assistance took the form of three grants. The first, a wage incentive. And that is five grants of up to $130,000 each. The wage incentives will be offered to businesses, up with businesses with up to 10 employees, who see the potential of employing young persons between the ages of 18 and 29. The second is startup grants, targeting the same age group. These grants of up to 50,000 will, um, uh, will help applicants who have a viable business idea and just need that extra financial support to launch their business. And people who need assistance to take their business to the next level benefited from the Business Development Grant. Seven of these grants, valued at up to $100,000, were disbursed to help with the expansion, diversification and growth of businesses. In June 2015, six aspiring entrepreneurs were awarded a combined $430,000 in grants across the three areas. Their business interests range from farming to internet and printing services. By utilizing this program, persons can benefit from training, guidance and mentorship. Which will allow these businesses to learn from successful established business owners and business advisors. 22 businesses will benefit directly from the program, with another 10 or 15 local businesses expected to be contracted by successful applicants for the supply of goods and services. The KSAC Enterprise Assistance Program is a key component of the Local Economic Development Program of the Ministry of Local Government and Community Development. So as government strengthens the export platform through policies and programs and enables growth in businesses, we can expect an increase in jobs and growth in the country's economic performance. Wet hands with water. Apply enough soap to cover all hand surfaces. Rub hands palm to palm. Right palm over left dorsum with interlaced fingers and vice versa. Palm to palm with fingers interlaced. Backs of fingers to opposing palms with fingers interlocked. Rotational rubbing of left thumb clasped in right palm and vice versa. Rotational rubbing backwards and forwards with clasped fingers of right hand in left palm and vice versa. Rinse hands with water. Dry hands thoroughly with a single use towel. Use towel to turn off faucet. Your hands are now safe.
There's an outbreak of the hand, foot and mouth disease, HFMD, among children in several schools. HFMD is most frequently seen in young children who usually get infected with the virus from exposure to oral secretions such as nasal discharge, saliva or stool. It typically occurs in small epidemics in nursery schools or kindergartens, usually during the summer and autumn months. The initial symptoms include fever, poor appetite, aches, and pains. These symptoms generally last one to two days before a blister-like rash develops on the hands, feet, and in the mouth. The rash initially appears as small red spots, but then develops into blisters. Patients are likely to complain of mouth pain and a sore throat. There is no specific treatment for hand, foot, and mouth disease. Supportive care includes fever management and drinking lots of fluid to prevent dehydration. Schools should regularly clean all areas and items that are more likely to have frequent hand contact. For example, taps, toys, keyboards, door handles, or desks. Parents, guardians, teachers, be vigilant in administering care to children. Take note of their actions to quickly identify any possible symptom of the hand, foot, and mouth disease. Hola, me llamo Taji. Let's have fun at school this year. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. And let's learn your words. Like building. B U I L D I N G. And vegetable yum yum. F E G. E T A B L E. Adios, amigos. Sometimes it's hard, but try and you make it. Leave you me. In order to achieve, go forth and take it. Set yourself free. Business friends, think on this. Sometimes when you innovate, you make mistakes. It's best to admit them quickly and get on with improving your other innovations. Words of the late businessman Steve Jobs. I'm Theodore Henry, signing off for Jamaica Magazine. For more on the hand, foot and mouth disease, click on our webpage, jis.gov.jm. We're also on YouTube, Twitter and Facebook. So log on and stay in the know. Have a happy Sunday. This has been a production of the Jamaica Information Service, the voice of Jamaica.